Okay. So you might be wondering what happened to the FJ Cruiser V8 swap from the Lexus. It's still running great, looks great. I got the dash in, um, but I wasn't able to use the FJ dash. It was just gonna be too complicated. Wasn't sure with the microchips and the dash if it was gonna communicate right. So I'm moving on now to this guy. So we have the standard cover plate and usually you have your um, FJ radio right in here or an aftermarket one. Uh, but in this case, I am I mounted in the climate control unit from the Lexus GX470 because that's what my ECU is from. And so this runs perfectly with it. But I, I hot glued it in here at just the right spot and I actually had to cut out from here, which I really didn't want to do, but I didn't have another choice or it was putting it down here and I have to cut all through these. So I chose to leave it up here because it fits with the wires and everything behind it fits nicely. So um, I'm in the process now, made my kids craft table here into a router table. It's the router under there, DeWalt. And uh, I can adjust this board to make different distances from where the cutting edge is. Um, so I made a template here out of a cereal box that's gonna show kind of what I'm going after. So um, on the original, GX it had a plastic version of this but it was molded and curved and it, it went really far out this way so I, I wouldn't be able to fit it in here but with this kind of template and going over the top I will be able to fit um, I still have some work to do as far as making this uh, cut out here smaller and making vertical ribs there 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 and there we'll see if I can accomplish those but um, this is gonna be made from this old panel I have oh, it's hard to see but this is a side panel from the back of the FJ that um, I got at a junkyard and it was it's totally cracked so it's pretty much worthless I don't, I don't think anyone would buy it in this state um, and try to repair it because it's scratched and it's cracked and I need to use it so I'm going to use take this here and I'm going to cut a piece off of here somewhere where I have enough material to use and with the right texture. And then I'm gonna route that plastic out here in this pattern and then stick the plastic onto here. I might paint it, you know, once it comes, depends on the finish and all that and how it comes out, I might eventually paint it. I'm thinking black here with um, nice rounded edges here, corners, uh, to match the black that's in here and here. So that's my goal. It would be really cool if I had a CNC and I could do all this and I could put on here like Lex J Cruiser and have it backlit or, but I might actually just use the space. I know there's not a lot back there because of this to mount like big switches, but um, I could get a couple in sideways perhaps or some kind of lights, functioning lights there. Uh, so I do have that space, which is great. So. After I make this plate and see how it all goes, I'll decide what I want to do with this area. And I might just put a cool sticker or something, who knows. But I want this to look pretty good. So I'll let you know how it turns out after I get started and get halfway through here. Dancing lizard. What do you think? Boom. I like it. I mean, it's got a lot of plain area here, but that's where I was thinking of putting some switches or something, but I think I'm just going to maybe do some kind of logo right here. But I think it looks pretty clean. Um, a little bit of bumpiness from the vinyl not totally sticking, but in general, I'm really happy with how this came out. So this is normally your spot for your radio, and it's not quite this wide or this far down or that far up. But what I did is took a little piece of thin plastic, like one of those... Um, cutting boards cutting mats you can get for the kitchen at Walmart four bucks for a four set and then I got some black vinyl from a Cricut machine um, so that's another five bucks and so I did the vinyl over the plastic after I cut out the spaces and all the stuff for the buttons and I had to mount the um, AC climate control actually on the back of here and glue it on with hot glue so it's nice and sturdy in there and I can push all the buttons without anything happening but uh, I think it looks good. I mean, finishing up my Lexus swap, got my dash in. Yeah, I have a million lights on still. 
got my AC in. Now I'm gonna get like a one of those radios, a circular um, like stereo to put in there with Bluetooth, and it's gonna be kind of more of a retro style or like a boat style. Um, so I'm gonna look, look at West Marine and look online and see what they got for those, and hopefully find one that's the right diameter. And then these other holes, I'll decide what I want to do for those, but they could be, um, you know, just hollow spaces to put stuff in, or I could put a couple switches in each. And I do have my switches down here, which I do still need. This is my, actually my 4x4 button. <laughs> so I need to make a new graphic to go over the top of that. That changes me from, um, I can turn off the, e the 4x4 ECU so that I can do two low or four low over here and then click it off and then I'll be in kind of a too low mode. It disconnects the front um, actuator. So these guys are, are not hooked up either. I have those kind of hanging in here. Um, so that'll be something. Oh, and it sounds kind of weird because I think I need to do some, put those, there's little black caps that go on behind those things. So I need to put those back in. But really happy with how that came out. Um, just something fancy to put right here to make it look even better and this thing is coming together no more parts that are just flying out and wires hanging anywhere except for this is for my backup camera I need to um, install that going all the way back but yeah it's looking good now here it's just a mask um, if I lift this up it's just the top of my Lexus dash circuitry and so I don't actually still have this functioning housing in here so I do need to cut out of the plastic holes so that I uh, for those white pieces there and I might have a little bit of space for a couple pens or papers or something but it's not going to be the great nice little uh, deck space that I had before anyway really glad this stuff is coming together need to definitely polish up everything and finish out putting stuff in there and getting my hazard switches on but um, happy to be done with this and maybe someday you know, now that I kind of know the right dimensions, I'll order this piece instead of making it with vinyl and plastic. I'll order it, uh, get it CNC'd or laser cut, and have like a metal plate there or something, get it paint and paint it up. But yeah.